60 minutes to 8. We can't make sense of the world today without thinking about why religion plays such a big part in our identity. That's the view of Neil McGregor in his new book, Living with the Gods, based on the Radio 4 series. The former head of the British Museum has been looking at how faith has shaped society using shared rituals, songs and beliefs over 40,000 years. The idea of separating religion and politics is impossible, he says. He joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. And you write... Belief is back in a way that decades ago wouldn't people wouldn't have predicted. They would have just said we're certainly in the West that we're living in a secular age. I think that's right. I think 40, 50 years ago, everybody assumed that religion was going to retreat into the private sphere. And now, when we look at the world, everywhere we see more and more people defining themselves as religious communities rather than political communities. You see a country like Russia, where President Putin is very determinedly orthodox, making Russia an orthodox nation. That's part of the identity. The cathedral that was dynamited by Stalin in Moscow has now been completely rebuilt. Religion is one of the great makers of group identity. And when it goes with national identity, that's very powerful. But when there's no nation or when the state fails, then religion has become one of the ways in which people can find a meaning for their existence as a community. And that, I think, is the real challenge for us to, 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 to engage with and understand. And you trace back that search for identity to our earliest times. I think one of the most moving exhibitions I've ever seen was at the British Museum of Ice Age Art and just looking back and looking at pieces from 40,000 years ago and feeling that connection. I think that's, that's right. The, the great challenge for all small communities, what we all were until quite recently, and in the Ice Age 40,000 years ago, is how does the group survive? How does it get through the winter, above all? And the little ivory carving, particularly the ivory carving of the lion man, tells us something about that, that what you need to survive as a group is a story about your place in the world. And that lion man is clearly something about a story about how humans and animals live in the universe and how they live together. That's the lion man of Ulm, if anybody wants to look it up. But also it comes on the day that um, a, a new cave uh, drawing has been discovered, 73,000 uh, years ago, scratched on a rock. Yes, this is very, very exciting news. Uh, we've known for a long time that some of the earliest uh, evidence of human creativity, art, is in South Africa. But what's interesting about this, I think, is that what it appears to be is a repeating pattern. And everywhere in the world, when people start making marks, start making art, we find pattern. And I think that's very, very interesting, because what it tells us is that we need the idea of progression through time, of which we are part of a story, a pattern, that goes on after we've stopped being there. And that's what religion's about. Where, where are we in this process that goes on? after us, a pattern. And you've looked at countries which um, have a secular identity at their heart, France, for example. France is a very interesting example because France at the revolution uh, and since then has really taken the nation, if you like, as the religion. That is the story. Uh, and that's the great story. And I think it's perhaps why France finds it particularly difficult to accommodate other religious groups, groups that define themselves not primarily in terms of that French narrative, but in other narratives of continuity and community. Uh, because that's what it's about. It's how does the community establish its identity across time? And that's difficult if you've got two conflicting narratives, as in many ways you have in France at the moment, between the French national one and a more general Muslim one. And uh, just briefly, at the end, this is why you, you, it's your belief that it's very hard to separate religion and politics. I think religion and politics are asking the same kind of questions. Who are we? Who is the group? And what do we want to become? They're the same question. They're just different ways of answering it. Neil McGregor, thank you for talking to us. And your book is called Living with the Gods.